Hey guys, and welcome back to The Last of Us. When we last left off, we were trying to make our way through these tower blocks. And, well, this area seems to be pretty damn hot. Let's see what we can do. Oh, God. Well, that went well, didn't it? That went... That went bad. <laughs> Come on. No. No bitey the face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that could have gone better. I'm not gonna lie. That definitely could have gone better. Um. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> That's what happens, I guess, when you leave a game at a kind of pivotal moment. Come on, come on, Joel. This bit is actually fairly easy to do stealth, but hey. That also works. Right, come on down. Damn. That was about as sloppy as it gets. Oh, what a motherfucker to turn around. Impressed, Joel. You're impressed? Let's just get out of here. I would not be impressed with that. I'm just saying, that was awful. Uh, right, what's in the revolver? We've got a lot for the revolver. Okay, cool. We got very, very lucky with that clicker there. Holy hell. I thought I thought that clicker had us for sure. Never mind. Right, let's go grab as much loot as we can. Oh no, that was so bad. Oh well. Hey, you know what? We survived. Okay, and that is what it's about. Survival. <sighs> well, I think we're out of the woods for now. So let's have a little look around, see what we can find. Got bottles. At least there's lots of health. And it's lots of this health as well. The health that uh, is used automatically. So I guess we didn't really lose anything apart from a few bullets, which, you know, sucks in its own right. But, yeah, never mind. We can actually make another bandage, which is cool. First aid kits are certainly life in this game. Quite literally. Um, now, where have those two gone? Is that everything that's here? I mean, it was quite a lot of health, I suppose, but I would have liked some stuff that we could take with us. But I don't think the game's going to be that kind. What's up here? Have we got anything hidden up here? Uh, ooh, hello. Oh, nice. A single bullet. Well, I would rather have a, a single bullet than no bullets, I suppose. We've got lots of melee weapons, which is nice. Melee weapons are so important. And look, more health. So, there we go. We're basically back to full health. And we haven't lost anything. Sweet. Sorry about that, ladies. That was as sloppy as it gets. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. Well, I guess that's that. Okay, fair enough. Let's get out of here. Oh, I think I need some coffee after that, guys. Jesus. Oh, much better. Right. So let's get up here and shift this out of the way. Out the way, ladies. Let me do this. After all, yeah, I know how to move one or two of these. I'm pretty sure <laughs> this won't be the last one of these we see. Test go. All right, hold on. Any day now. Good enough, good enough. I uh, thank you. That's what you call teamwork. Right, we've got some fuel. See? Some of that. Doing all right? uh -huh. No, we're not really doing all right. We got lucky. Okay, and sooner or later, according to Jill, our luck will run out. Oh, now we actually are completely tops off with health. Nice. So, I I think we're just about, just about there. What's down here? 
Anything? Down we go. Okay, let's get to it. Guessing that's actually the way we're supposed to be going, more or less. But you know me. Get through here. You know me, guys. I like to go through these games fairly slow and try and get everything we can. But that's the way we came anyway. Okay, fair enough. I guess the only way is down. Oofed. That'll be a leap of faith. Your last ever leap of faith. Watch your back. Alright, uh, you holler if you see any of them. What are we looking at here? Damn. Well, this building is definitely not going to be up to health and safety standards. I'm just saying. Okay. This would not be up to any kind of code. But I guess we've got bigger things to worry about right now. I suppose. After we get back, we can take it easy for a little while. You want to take it easy. Hey, you're the one always going on about laying low. And you always brush me off. Well, I won't this time. I believe it when I see it. Yeah. Yeah, I think you guys are probably going to earn a rest after this. And I can hear gurgling. Ooh. Definitely hear gurgling. Right. Let's have a little look up here. I'm pretty sure if uh, memory serves, there is a nice little Brucey bonus around here somewhere. Hmm. No, this is where we're actually supposed to be going, but there is some stuff here. I remember. Breathe, Joel, breathe. And for some reason, my video stopped recording. Okay, that's fine. I'm just glad I've got two monitors right next to me now, and I can actually see that. Okay, cool. Let's grab that loot and get out of here. Wait, was there no supplements there? Yeah, maybe there was. Huh, never mind. Okay, I thought there was some goodies there, but maybe there wasn't. I mean, there was goodies there, obviously. We just saw that. But... I don't think there was supplements there. I missed it if there was. Okay. That's fine. So we've got some more gear here. We're going to get to the point in a minute where we can't pick up anything. And that's not good. You know, I'm not used to playing this game uh, on this difficulty. Go. Over here. And I am kind of shocked at just how much we're getting. Ah, nice. Got some more parts. Parts are always good. <laughs> now I definitely look forward to upgrading some of our weapons because the upgrades are kind of subtle. Oh, there's the supplements I might have been thinking about. Um, yeah, the upgrades are kind of subtle, but very nice. I want to save to start off with and go for Shiv Master. Yeah, use a Shiv to save yourself when grabbed by a clicker, which is good because clickers are generally one hit kill, which is bad. So that's good. Weapon Sway is okay. It's useful, but it's not the second coming of Jesus. Healing speed is quite nice. Crafting speed, eh. Generally, you're not crafting in combat if you can avoid it. Listening mode distance is meh. And maximum health is uh, nice. And I should really take the spoon out of my coffee. I don't even know why there's a spoon in my coffee. Because I don't actually take sugar in my coffee. Uh, anyway, let's have a little look around. Look at his sleeve. Fire. Uh huh. These guys aren't doing well in or out of the city. No. I just hope there's someone alive to meet us at the drop-off. 
However, we just got a Molotov. Molotovs are amazing. These things are so much fun. Um, and they're actually crazy powerful as well. Use Molotovs to kill multiple enemies at once. A burning enemy can even set fire to others. Yep, uh, Molotovs are generally really useful when it comes to clickers that haven't noticed you yet. And you can quickly burn them out in one go. Very, very, very powerful. But yes, be careful with your supplies. Molotovs require the same ingredients as health kits. Uh, as I said uh, previously in one of my videos, uh, certain, at least, I think each recipe is used for two different items. So there is that kind of risk versus reward kind of dealio going on. Okay. Right, let's grab up this stuff. Now, can we actually make any more whilst we're here? We actually can. I want to try and leave some space. We can actually make another med kit. I don't necessarily like making med kits unless I have to. Because occasionally you do find them in the field. And it's never nice to leave a med kit or anything, actually. Now, if you look at the inventory as well, see that spanner next to the item? That means you have the materials to make another one. Which is also quite useful. Okay. You got there, Chief? Firefly map. Gold dome. Meet up with second Firefly team. At Capitol building. Girl, 5'3", 14 years old, red hair. Well, I guess she's the one that we're uh, looking for. Or at least that would have been the team that we were looking for. But sadly... They're from the quarantine zone. Maybe. Their luck run out. They kind of are our guys. At least they were the original guys that were looking for her. Okay, let's go. Oofed. Over there, it was him. Shit. God, we're almost out. Okay, Joel, you take point. I'll watch the rear. Ellie, no matter what, you stay right on his heels. Sure. You stay sharp. I got it. Yeah. I don't think we have. Oh God, clicker stealth. Clickers can still hear you when you're crouched. Push lightly to move quietly. If you're heard, stop and wait until it's safe to move. Yeah, clickers are dick bags, basically. And there's a shiv there. Good to know for later. I don't think they can see the light. I do want to test something here. Yeah. Okay, so we can shiv clickers. Not I bad. thought you could. That's fine. That's really nice. Now, there's some good loot in this area as well, so... Definitely want to try and clear this place out if I can. Now, that dude there, that's not a clicker. That's just a runner. Right, so, sweetheart, come here. Right, he's just going to strangle you. Never use a shiv on one of these guys. Unless you're out of options, really. Because strangling them is just pretty efficient, as you've seen there. As long as you can get the drop on them, of course. Uh, we're full on health. That's cool. Leave that. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Ooh. Note to Derek. Derek, at the bookstore. It's letting us use his safe. When you close tonight, put my stuff in there. Right, yeah, we actually get safes in this game that we can uh, open. They're kind of like uh, loot doors in which that they have some really nice loot in them, but you cannot guess the code. You have to, you have to find the code because there's no way of actually entering the code into the safe. Joel will just tell you that you haven't found the combination yet, which is cool, you know. Uh, I don't know how many there are in the game. There, there, there's a few. 
and they're certainly worth grabbing. As with all of the loot in this game, is worth grabbing. Right, I want to try and get that clicker. Now, your AI companions, uh, I guess, for <laughs> reasons, do not alert enemies. Which is nice, because if they did, that would be super annoying. Because they run around like headless bloody chickens. Alright, come on you. Now, if you kill an enemy with a shiv, it is a silent kill. So, bear that in mind. Come on, don't be difficult now. Don't play hard to get. Alright. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Things have gone bad. <laughs> um, Tess, you're really in the way here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do that. And we're going to do that. That is the power of the Molotov. And I, I'm not even salty about doing that, actually. Not even salty about doing that. Okay. That's fine. Hey, that's one way to save a lot of ammo, to be honest. Definitely need to get used to being stealthy around clickers again. They are... Not to be trifled with. Hey, but at least... We should... Be unopposed around here now. think we've cleared them all out? Holy shit though, that was easy. Like, two Molotovs to kill all those guys. That was actually not the best deal in the world, but it wasn't horrible either. Nah, I think there's more. I think there's more. I'm going to say there's more. Okay, what about loot though? Ooh, I don't mind if I do. Nice little snack. You know, I hope all these snacks are still in date. Sugary snacks probably last for a very long time. Yep, there's more. That's a runner. But this... Looks like the bookstore. And we want to get in the bookstore. Hey, friendo. Now, I believe if you actually sneak up to these guys... Yeah, there's a safe behind her. Yeah. You can sneak up to these guys and just grab them from the front, which is really nice. Uh, Ellie, I'm going to need that safe. I hope you don't mind. Cool, what have we got? Nothing. That ain't no good. Ellie, safe, please. Uh, ooh, 50 scrap. Yeah, that was juicy. Definitely worth it. Okay, ooh. You having fun yet, Ellie? Is this, is this what you're expecting the great outdoors to be? You seem to uh, have thought it was going to be a whole barrel of laughs. And I guess I'm having fun. But <laughs> I don't know what she would be thinking. Oh, there's a nice little like hidey hole area here. Well, there's not a lot in here. Apart from brick. Ah, well. Let's go. There's loads of bricks around here. I can really expect you to exercise a little bit more stealth and tact than we did. Eh. Man, I bet Joe... Joe? I bet Joel would murder for a proper cup of coffee from one of these places. Can you imagine? It would be the little things like that that you'd crave, I think. To go back into one of these places again and fire up the coffee machine. Or better yet, have a barista do it for you. And have a, an amazing, oh, fresh cup of coffee. 
Because I would have thought most of the coffee left in the world is quite stale. Yeah, you know, drinkable, but stale. And no one likes stale coffee. Ah, yes, yes. We do indeed have a clicker there. I don't think we really need to bother this guy, though. Now, notice, as like I said before, that our AI companions are making a hell of a lot of noise. But it just it doesn't seem to matter. Let's sneak past him. I don't really want to... I don't really want to use anything. Or should I kill him? Is there any point in killing him? I'm pretty sure there isn't any point in killing him. Right, let's get up here. Hi, right, friend. You look like you've had a very bad last century or so. Oh, look at these guys. Look at them. They're proper gnarly. They look so moldy and just... Yeah, there's something about them, you know. Uh, oh, no, we need the ladder. Yeah, we're going to have to kill this guy. You know what? That's fine. Let's get him done. And then what we can do is grab that. And then go all the way back down here. Because we did leave some uh, materials. We had you. Was that all the materials we left? That's fine. Okay. I mean, we haven't technically lost anything because we've... Uh, you know, kept up on our materials, so we haven't profited, but we have survived. Right, grab that. Yeah, there's no rush now. Everyone's dead. But let's get out of here. Um, Joel, please, thank you. Didn't think he wanted to leave then. He was having too much of a good time. But all good times must come to an end, Joe. I'm sure that ain't the last we've seen of these guys. Holy shit. We actually made it. Everyone okay? Yes. Let's move. Mm, not bad, guys. Not bad. You guys are pretty good at this stuff. It's called luck. And it is gonna run out. Yeah. I have to agree with Joel here. And that's one thing I like about this game. It's um, it's not like Uncharted, which I do actually like Uncharted. Uh, where everything's so happy and just like slapstick all the time. And the heroes just, you know, take their success and whatnot for pretty much granted. This is a much more grounded and, and realistic setting. Much more realistic tone. And I do like that. The characters know that they're just being extremely lucky and scraping by by the skin of their ass. And I like that. I do. Okay. Well. Back out. To where we going, Tess? Uh, Capital buildings in this direction. You sure? What's got more ammo? They're about the same. Switch up to this. Yep. So we're going down there. That's cool. Right, let's look for loot. Loot. Ooh. We'll sort that truck out in a minute. Don't you worry about it. Guys, if you could help me look for supplies that would help us, you know, survive this endeavor, I would be uh, most appreciative. All right. Well... Let's go into this totally not infested building. You can hear these guys from a mile away. Ah, oh, dude. Dude, dude. Right, this one's out on his own. Her own. Right, let's take these guys out. Because it looks like there's loot around here. Alright, sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Yoink! Yeah. Okay, so I guess even if you just strangle them, that's a quiet stealth kind of takedown. Good to know. 
Alright, you're next, Sonny Jim. I know, I know. Trust me. Trust me, dude. It's better this way. There you go. There you go. Now you can have a proper restful night's sleep. Probably the best sleep you've had in years, to be honest. Okay, creep. Alright, you're the next one marked for permanent death. Come on, friend. There we go. Oh, Joe, you could have... You could have been a little bit more subtle with that, Joe. You didn't have to just, like, <laughs> stick your size 13s for a face. They're recently infected. The soldiers must have just turned. Yeah. Which means there's more in the area. We gotta go. <laughs> Joe. Joe and his subtleties. Alright, so we need that. I don't know if there's anything else around here. Uh, doesn't look like it. I think we just need that. And then we can get the fuck out of here. Cool. Alright. Alright, let's do it. Alright, anyone going to give me a hand with this? Or am I just doing this all by myself? I already know the answer to that question, don't I? Okay. Um... We appear to be a little bit stuck. Um, Tess, little help? No, it's alright. Don't worry about it, actually. I've got it. I've got it. I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself now, would I? Yeah. Do we have to push it out the other way, maybe? If you could get out the way, Tess. There we go. Is it just your fat ass was blocking the, the door? Probably. Right. Okay. Right, let's get out. Uh, well, this looks inviting. What have we got in here? Ooh, hello. <clears throat> Medical pamphlet. CBI safety pamphlet. The Center for Disease and Control has produced this pamphlet on cordyceps brain infection, CBI. Oh, they actually set up a whole CBI thing. Um, to increase awareness and prevention of infection background, the cordyceps mushroom is a parasitic fungi that can take over a host's mind and alter its behavior. Until recently, it has only affected insects and some anthropods. Or well, arthropods, I should say. Anthropods, playing too much XCOM. Um, a new species has emerged with the ability to target human hosts. Transmission. The two known ways to contract uh, CBI are breathing the spores emitted by the cordyceps, contact with bodily fluids uh, of a person infected with CBI, usually bitten, incubation. After an initial infection, the parasite travels to the host's brain over a period of one to two days. The incubation concludes when the cordyceps has taken over all major bodily functions of the host stage one cbi symptoms stage one cbi patients display erratic and violent behavior lashing out at anybody around them eventually the fungus pushes through the host's tissue to allow for the release of airborne spores damn treatment there is no vaccine for cbi or any known treatment to lengthen the incubation period Diagnosis. CBI can be diagnosed using a blood microscope imaging test, usually administered against the ear. Within minutes of contraction, the results of this test will come out positive. Damn. So, yeah. Yeah, you catch this. You are fucked. I do like these pamphlets. Alright, well... Our pipe's better than the one that's there. Let's go. How's it going out here, ladies? We all good? Looks safe, at least. Joel, over here. Right, but maybe we can cut through here. Because my yeah, that out great video's way. screwed up. I don't know how long I've been recording for. Uh-oh. Yep, move it, Joe. They're coming. I know. Okay, that's good. That's good. Go. Come on. Come on. Oof. You 
have something on your shoe. Huh. <laughs> Gross. Ah, <laughs> oh, Ellie. <laughs> you got something on your shoe. Okay. How do we get out of this place? Let's find out. Mm, let's have a look around, shall we? Uh, well, that's what she believes. I mean, you must have been somewhere you shouldn't to find an infected in the zone. Yeah. Let's sneak out. Why does anyone have to stay inside the zone? Let's sneak out? You know, we'll just leave. I was in the mall when I ran into you. That place is completely off limits. How the hell did you get in there? I had my ways. Anyways, one of those, what you guys call runners, bit me. Um, that was that. I see. Were you with Marlene when you were bitten? No. I went to her for help last year. <laughs> Knowing her, I'm surprised she didn't shoot you. She told me to stay. Hope she's all right. I told you. It's going to be fine. Huh. Well, there's a little bit of Ellie's backstory. Uh, we'll be finding out a little bit more about that later on. Oh, nice. Supplements. How many supplements we got? 35. Mm. We've got a long way to go before we can start upgrading our shivs, but yeah, we'll get there. Okay, so we've got a workbench, so we can start upgrading our weaponry, which is pretty nice. We must have uh, a good amount of scrap, actually. Or parts, as they call it in this game. Is there any more parts around? Kind of seems a bit weird that they give us a workbench. With no parts around, but um, okay, that's fine. Nothing down here? No? No? <gasps> Fair enough. Let's have a look. All right, let's see what we got. Now, we got 97, which, eh, it's not too bad. We need tools. I don't think we've missed any tools. Okay, so some of your upgrades are locked behind um, your tool level. <laughs> yes, you could say Joel's a tool. And there are five sets of tools to collect. And if you have all the sets of tools, you can unlock the highest tier gear, uh, highest tier upgrades. Um, but as we have no tools, we can only get the basic stuff for now. Kind of a way of limiting you, so you can't just, I don't know, like upgrade everything really early, but eh, it's okay. I don't mind it. So fire rate. Now, clip capacity. Magazine capacity is quite useful. Uh, the more bullets you can hold in the gun, the more bullets you can hold in general. So, yes. As you see, uh, we've done the first level, and now we need tools to get the next level. Um, yeah, I do like upgrading my basic handgun because you get loads and loads of ammo for it on this difficulty. So, it is useful. And I do like having the main basic handgun <coughs> or the main basic weapon leveled up. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. It's fire rate and reload speed. Uh, there's nothing useful there. I mean, it's all useful, but there's nothing like major there. Um, whereas that, having more bullets in the gun is quite handy. So I think I'm going to save the rest of the scrap. Because there are much more important weapons later on that we need to upgrade. So, anyway guys. I'm going to leave this video here. Three minutes ago we last saved it. I think that's when we came into here. Let's go through this door, see if it saves. Four minutes ago. Alright, well actually let's keep going until we get the next checkpoint then. Okay. Or can we just like manually save? I think we can. Ah, yes. Yes, we can. That makes it easier. A year's. Still says like four minutes ago we saved. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of time. The miss is going to be back and I'm going to get an earful. So. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.